Hello, I'm going to show you how to do an intermuscular injection on an equine. So first, the things you're going to need is your medication, a 20 gauge needle, at least a 12 cc's um, uh, syringe. So, and this is just what you're going to need for this part, not including like your horse and your halter and stuff like that. Alright, so I'm going to flip my camera around. And we are doing this at my, uh, inside my house at the moment. Alright, so we're going to take this, and my cap is already off of my 20-gauge uh, needle, but I have not taken, like, this cap off, just the part to connect to my syringe. That's why I don't poke myself. So you're going to put that on there. It's going to be secure, and then you're going to take your needle, you're going to shake up your medication. This way you don't end up, uh, uh, you don't want it all to be in one area. You want it to all be mixed up pretty well. You don't want it to be concentrated or anything. So then I'm going to poke. Oh shit. Sorry y'all. It's hard for me to see. I don't have my glasses on either. Alright, so then I want 10 cc's for my horse. My horse is around a thousand pounds and it's about a hundred. For every hundred pounds you want one cc. So I'm going to start pulling back now on my uh, syringe here. Now I've also, sh I also shake the bottle at, as I start to uh, pull back. This way it's not settling anywhere. You don't want it to be settled. You want it to keep nice. You want it to stay nicely mixed up. Now this takes a little longer than it probably should for me. But this is about the same as what it's going to take you guys. So the syringe here that I have is not the best. Okay, I'm going to keep pulling back here. I'm not quite at 10 cc's yet. I'm at just about 8. So again, this process does take a minute, like I said earlier in the video. Now, if any of you guys are doing this for the first time, I would recommend doing it in front of your veterinarian just so that you can have help if a question or something arises because you do not want to potentially mess up. All right, and I'm at 10 cc's now, so I'm going to go ahead, make sure it's not going to go anywhere, and then pull them back on that. Then I'm going to cap my needle. This way, when I this way when I make my journey from my home to my barn, this does not end up poking me or losing any of the medication that is inside of it. There is an air bubble. I can see the air bubble already, which I will show you how to get the air bubble out, and I will see y'all in a little bit. All right. So in order to get the air bubbles out of this. You're going to go one, two, three, and push it out just a little bit. So you're going to lose a little bit of medicine. That way you can get all air bubbles out. Because you don't want any air bubbles going in to the muscle. Or just any, any, like even if you're going into the vein, which you do not want to go into the vein, but if you were... You don't want any air bubbles at all in your syringe. Alright. So then, you want to tie, you want to end up having someone hold your horse, but I don't have anyone to hold my horse. And she's pretty, she's pretty easy going, so I just have her eating a bucket of grain. So, anyway, so, now that we've, so right here, so you're going to go here, 
Have a hands width away from your main and a hands width away from your jugular. This little triangle right here is what you want. Alright, so, and then you are going to pinch the skin and I am going to then insert my needle at about 45 degrees or so. And you're going to want to pull back. This is the most important part. Pull back to make sure you don't have any blood coming in to the medication that you're injecting. So and then you will push through. I only push through about 5 cc's of this because I like to go ahead, I like to go to two different areas with this much medication just so that it's a little easier on them. And I also like to rub in a little bit of the medication just to kind of help. I don't really think it helps, but you know, just makes me feel a little bit better, I guess. Alright, so, and then I'm going to choose, I already did right here, so I'm going to choose about right, I'm going to choose right here, there we go, so you're going to pinch the skin, you're going to push in, pull back, make sure you're not in a vein, I'm not in a vein, and then I move my hair just so I can make sure I'm washing everything. And then you're going to push your medication. And then you're going to pull out. And rub it. And that is how you do an intramuscular injection. Also, don't forget to put a cap back on your needle and dispose of your needle properly. And that's all you do. Hope this video helps you.